Hello, and welcome to our third week of the fall 2020 semester. This is for Social Work 555, which is Research Methods 1. This is your trustee, Dr. Hernandez. Um, so, Chapter 3, uh, as you see on your screen, is titled Factors Influencing the Research Process. Okay, um, so you have the PowerPoint. Um, there is a discussion. Um, I, I encourage you to watch the video right now, since I'm, you know, recording this. You won't see the so-called uh, lecture video. And um, let me, just before I start the PowerPoint, let me make sure. Uh, okay. Yes. So the discussion is to locate one research article that applies social work theory to explain the story. That should not be too difficult. Make sure, um, you know, if you take in um, Hipsy, you probably know some of the theories. If you don't, you know, make sure, since we all, in the, at this time, you know, Googling, make sure that, you know, it, it is a theory that, um, you know, it's, it's using social work. I might just recommend that you stick to journals that are, on, I sh let me rephrase that, um, stick to social work journals, okay? All right, without further ado, let me click on uh, chapter three. Um, like I said, it's factors influencing the research process. And, you know, we have several, um, um, you know, theory uh, will definitely uh, affect the process and you know other things that you see listed here I don't have to actually I just have to jump into the figure 3.1 and go over it this might be uh, well, a little Forgive me, you know, the, the, the bigger I zoom, um, oops, the, okay, now it's getting, okay, I know what I'm doing wrong, oops, I apologize for this, okay, so faces of social work research process, um, uh, as you can tell, um, not going to edit, you know, um, partly because, you know, not that I don't want to, but, um, so whatever, edit the video, that is, whatever errors I mistake, we just keep rolling. So, first one, identify the problem, pose research question. Okay. Um, So, you know, remember uh, the first uh, chapter where we, the scientific method, and, you know, the first item is usually observation. So, you observe something, and you try to come up with a question. Yeah, I understand that, you know, maybe it's not as polished your question as possible. Now, um, remember... Um, what I explained last week about uh, how to, uh, you know, propose or, or create, I should say, an, an uh, evidence-based uh, practice uh, question. Well, some of the same things apply here. It's not exactly the same, but some of them apply. The By the way, you should... Um, after this, or before this, or uh, whatever, 
um, you should watch the video that I include in the um, in the models. Um, problem formulation. So the research question is sharpen it. You know, so you you, you sort of polish it more. Um, I make I I try to do this as a requirement. Do not send me any uh, you know research uh, topics without having read. You know, if you don't I mean read you run into the issue of maybe there's nothing to to find meaning literature. So you sh um anyway, I know it's sort of counterintuitive in some ways because you know, you're say you're you know, Professor, you're telling us to observe and then create a question, but then we need to read. Well, yeah. Um I'm sure, just because, you know, we are, we have limited resources, if you can put it that way, right? And, you know, sometimes, um, you know, limited time, not saying that you cannot research something that never been done, you know, yeah, we not do that all the time, being, you know, original, um, which is what we want you to be original, um, but um, most of the time the students uh, pick such a huge or broad topic, which is fine. You just have to narrow it down. You know, decide. Okay, that's why I said you should read before you upload your topic. Okay, um, what are the, the, the questions or, you know, or how are you gonna, uh, you know, yeah, how are you gonna sort of base your question? Is it an exploration? Uh, which obviously means that, you know, you're going into unknown territory, so to speak. Is it a description, which it could be like a snapshot? You know, not everybody, you know, you can describe a, a uh, somewhere, you know, a community, um, you know, in your agency, you know, there might be, you know, it could be different, um, you know, so a description is as good as a, of a, you know, research, uh, you know, to pursue that, right? It's, it's as, it's as honorable and, 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 and significant as, any other of the others that I'm going to read, right? Explanation. Well, I, I would think that that's, um, um, you know, make, you know, obvious. Evaluation, um, you know, which, you know, you can evaluate if you're, um, you know, once you institute it, something, you put it in, in, to work, did it have an effect or, you know, how you're doing I don't mean necessarily you, but your agency, your where you work, etc. Instruments construction, um, yeah, that's very interesting because you know sometimes we we see, observe things uh, uh, out there, right? And you know how are we actually gonna measure them? You know, which is a a very um, you know important question because. You know, you know, there are certain concepts that, you know, may need, uh, especially if you want to quantify it, you need to, you know, construct instrument. And I would say, excuse me, I would say that in most cases, a lot of instruments are already made. So, you know, an instrument to measure stress an instrument to measure, um, you know, cognitive abilities, you know, all of those um, type of instrument. Then, um, you know, conceptual elements, you know, hypothesis. Well, if any, I'm going to just throw this in, you know, hypothesis. It's for quanti, uh, qua, quant excuse me, quantitative uh, uh, approach, because, you know, 
but this is needs to be tested and it's tested with data which is numbers or you know values variables um you know, those are uh, they they may represent uh, a concept or a, you know you know it could be you know gender right um it has male female it could be a race you know so it have um, it, it 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 may cover or explain not explain um define a you know a concept operational definition well that's what i was talking about uh you know how are you gonna and i'm being really really you know one extreme or simplifying this you know how are you gonna find sorry how are you gonna define you know success you know right so you may have to well if the person uh, have not uh, um, what should I say have not um, received advice you know uh, sort of falling off the wagon for um, you know three months you know something in that matter in that way um, choose a research um, design you know, this is the uh, chapter three, but in chapter four, it covers quantitative and qualitative uh, and mixed methods. Obviously, quantitative is use data, which is number. Uh, qualitative, uh, just to describe it quickly, are, you know, interviews, um, focus groups, etc. that a mixed method is when you use the two previous one, you know, either one before, one after, at the same time, um, and so on. Uh, sampling, you know, that have to do, you know, uh, probability and non-probability means kind of what it, the, the actual um, term means, you know, that w you want to make sure that you have, you know, uh, maybe representative of the let's say Jackson population so um, and I'm gonna throw a number I can rem I should know it but let's say the the African American population in Jackson is 40 eh, 44 percent and you know and so on whites are I don't know 50 maybe and and so on and so you the way you sample you want to get that proportion and obviously non-proportional is that you don't use any proportion you just you know use other method which we will discuss uh later data uh, uh, collection and data sources you know interviews sex report scales you know well you can you can see you can read the screen um write and submit research proposal which is uh we're writing a research proposal in this class implement and design data collection uh process data analyze data you know draw conclusions policy implications etc and write and submit oops report i guess uh, i move to the next slide which uh I don't know. I, okay. So, you know, pretty much um, what you see here, right? And you probably notice that I may use that expression a lot. So, you know, I actually don't remember if I made it. I have, uh, I have not, not the previous one because that's from the book, but maybe I did create, make this uh, myself. I'm not sure because it says and so on which apparently is something that I say a lot. So, so on. No, and so on. Um, here we go. You know, factors, uh, if, well, I would say affecting the choice of research methods. So, um, you have here, let's go theoretical because it relates to the 
to the chapter, you know, um, I would think that, or I would hope, well, let me uh, use the, this, so maybe, I mean, I don't, oops, I don't recommend that you use your phone to study, but, you know, hey, uh, I guess I'm doing you a favor by, by uh, zooming in. So, you know, um, this is already, it's, uh, been talking for 15 minutes, so I need to start, um, you know, consider the time. So you see, practical, what, you know, time, money, funding, you know, you can read it. Ethical issues, right? You know, we're going to talk about ethics later on, not today, but another week, you know, please. And, you know, nature topic, you know, uh, yes, there could be historical, um, um, sensitive topics, you know, and, and I actually want to say, you know, even though it seems like this nature, sorry, nature of topic, you know, but I want to say, you know, also, um, which might be under the, uh, not really under practical, but maybe under practical, you put, you could put, you know, you know, things that, are, you know, you know, you can't predict, you know, that uh, God throws in, in, into your life or into your project. Um, okay, so, oops, I need to go back, and uh, maybe too small, but, Maybe there. Okay, so let's start, you know, like I did in that, in that, this one, you know, theory, right? So theory are, um, you know, some statements that, you know, explain something. In social work, uh, I would say, and I don't know if it's 100%, but I would have to guess that it would be, you know, what it needs to um, explain would be behavior, right? So, yeah. Um, utility of theory in social work practice, you know. Help us make a sense of diverse observations, right? You know, it's sort of like a... I was going to say map, but not necessarily... But, you know, it sort of gives you that bigger snapshot. You know, you can have an observation and you see a crowd and then, hmm, I wonder if this had, you know, been, my observation is, had been, it's connected to a theory. Um, I don't know, uh, you know, the way people are behaving in a crowd, for instance. You know, we have that. Um, I'll just, even though we don't talk much about it in social work, but, you know, or at least in any of the classes, you know, the, um, sort of the behavior of a, of a crowd that, you know, you may not want to do, you know, your moral tells you, you know, you're, you don't want to do what the crowd is doing, but because at the moment, because everybody's doing it, you know, you feel compelled to do it. So there are theories that, you know, that back that up, right? Um, and I'm blanking on the actual name, but you get the picture. Um, you know, and then help us distinguish between chance occurrence and observation that have value. You know, um, so, you know, I don't know, you know, I remember back in the day, um, when people say, I think it's going to rain, and, and it does have some scientific, because my knee or my foot and or whatever it is, you know, your grandparents, it, it's, you know, giving me that hurting. Well, actually, even though that has some scientific backing, because it's arthritis, you know, it's affected by humidity and, and so on and so forth, but, you know, it, it may be that you know, let's say it doesn't have any scientific, you know, sort of backing and, and no 
uh, you know, it's, it's more of a tradition or something uh, like that, you know, you sort of put it against uh, a, a theory that tells you, well, you know, the theory uh, sort of doesn't, I'm going to use this word, but remember later on, this means something different, sort of validates that that behavior, right? And and you see, okay, so maybe the fact that my grandmother said it's going to rain because her knee hurts, you know, it, it could, you know, have no, sorry, grandma, no value. <laughs> but, you know, we know, and, and I, you know, it's a funny, kind of funny, I don't know, maybe it's not the best example, because, you know, if we do some research, we would find out that, yeah, well, it's influenced by the humidity and, and some other environmental changes that, oh, you, somebody may start feeling pain, and, oh, rain is coming, but, you know, um, it, it, it try to sort of differentiate things that just happen by chance, and things that that's not, that are more likely to happen. So theory sort of gives you that, I said I was going to not try to say map, but that road map that, uh, to tell you this is what, you know, in normal circumstances, if that makes sense, would happen. Now, we know that, um, that's why, you know, theories are sometimes in constant change, because Somebody realized, well, that was true in 1920, but now we're in 2020, you know, so things may change due to, you know, technology and all things. So anyway, so let's keep, let's keep plugging. Um, but these are some of the theories, right? Crisis theory, ecological system, you know, one, one firm burner, uh, which you all know, uh, the humanistic, which is Maslow, Rogers, and Young. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know that, yeah, we may not, um, I know that I discussed this one in, in Hipsy, but it's the object relation theory, you know, like, you know, you relate, I don't know, a, uh, uh, you know, maybe when, when you see somebody taking out their belt, you think, oh my god, I have to run because that's, you know, something triggers something, right? Structural family ther uh, ther therapy, uh, Bowen, and I'm not sure it is a tier, um, solution-focused therapy, which kind of what it sounds like, you know, you're sort of laser focused on, 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 on a solution, social cultural theory, well, you know, because let's say that you are new, you know, um, in you're uh, uh, new in this country, and you come from a culture that is totally different. You know, there might be, you know, ways to sort of acculturate yourself, or 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 simply, you know, the person is who's treating you. You know, the therapist may be of a different race, ethnicity, and, you know, they, they, they are there to serve you, or, or when we are the therapist, we are there to serve the client. So, you know, social culture theory tells you to, you know, adjust certain cultural and social, uh, I don't know, for lack of a better word, markers that, you know, because of your client. Behavioral theories, you know, we have the famous Pavlov, which is the Pavlov dog, right? Remember that, and then Skinner, which is very famous. Of course, going on the series, we have, you know, Piaget, which is very well known. Um, and then psychodynamic theory, we have uh, Freud and Erickson. You know, Freud was the E, the ego, and the superego, right? And Erickson, anybody, anybody can remember the pyramid of, you all say it, the pyramid of needs. Okay, uh, this is basically the same, uh, some similar to 
before, you know, knowledge about different theories regard to different social fields, you know. Yeah, so just I'll leave it for a sec uh, so you can sort of uh, devour it. Um, social practice models, you know, which is obviously relates to theory, you know, try to explain um, some behavior and, 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 you know, there are different um, ways um, to pick one. Oh. Uh, okay, yes. Ecological perspective, right? Um, so that will look at the uh, macro, meso, and mi micro, you know, level, right? You know, if a person may be influenced for, may have so the behavior of uh, this individual person, you know, it's influenced by the family, by the school, the church, you know, and then you keep going by whatever, uh, maybe the, the climate of the city. I don't mean temperature wise, I mean either political or social or, but, and then you go further up or, or wide at the, the macro level and those are, um, you know, in our case, maybe federal policies um, that, you know, you know, whatever, excuse me, maybe, uh, for instance, re President Trump is doing, and in fact goes all, right? Um, actually, it's funny, because, I mean, it, it was years ago, so, and, and I don't remember the name, and even if I remember, for confidentiality purpose, I wouldn't reveal it, but I had a student who came to me, and she was crying, you know, and... She's saying she's so worried that, um, you know, uh, Trump was going to win, and or Trump won actually, and um, but she's she's gay, she's lesbian, and she was so worried. So, you know, that's, you know, imagine at, that's at the macro level because this that's like DC, right? But it affects us all. So, you know, just as an example. Um, not very good with people coming to me and crying, but hey, it's the profession that I chose to be, you know, uh, and I say I'm not very good because I may cry too. Okay, you, you heard it from me. Uh, you heard it now. Um, a theoretical research studies, yes, there could be, um, maybe there's not a theory that, um, sort of back up what you're trying to do, right? There's always going to be people trying to, you know, sort of create, theory and develop it. Uh, prediction and explanation, yeah. You can, it is exactly what, you know, you can read on the slide. Um, components of theory, uh, as I noticed, I'm getting to 30 minutes and I haven't just um, not even finished one chapter, so, you know, hypothesis, variable relation, independence, variable concept, attributes, observation, and empirical support, um, I'm gonna, you know, hopefully you'll, you know, uh, motivate you to, to read, right, um, basically, um, hypothesis, you know, it's, you know, relationship between, um, uh, you know, two, two variables, right? Um, right, like here. Um, and then you see, well, um, you know, do we sort of, does it follow a certain pattern or actually here would be kind of not and here, um, it would be, you know, more distributed. So, you know, you try to, to see, um, you know, here's two variables are, you know, 
clients with contracts the or the, the um uh, sorry having or not having a contract and set of satisfaction right which is two two choices in this case you know because we made it three then we would have um you know nine squares and you know, why complicate things this is a two by two if you need to know that um and you know the relationship between two variables um two logic system deduction and induction well it's sort of one is the opposite of the other uh research begin with a theory and then derive one or more hypothesis for from it for testing it's sort of that you put the let, just for sake of explaining in one you put the cart sorry the horse before the cart and in the other one you do the opposite right so you begin with the theory and then derive one or more hypothesis again i'll give you uh, like a couple of seconds to uh read the rest of the uh, slide and continue with the uh the next well um which is here you know explain in a graphical way and you know um induction works from particular instances to general principles so maybe you know you see you know a, a few people doing it and then you sort of extrapolate, you know, to general principles. Uh, work from facts to theories. Well, what's the other one? Deduction from theory to, well, not necessarily facts, but hypothesis, right? So you can, you know, see that it's the, the opposite. Um, if there's an easy way to remember, um, I don't know. I will have to make some sort of, uh, um deduction um kind of maybe i think of you know outside those theory from the inside to out right uh meaning you know from the theory to hypothesis and induction is from um from actually i kind of messed that up because induction sounds like in but um uh, thinking the other way in anyway i don't have a good way sorry um maybe after all of what i said <laughs> no i'm not gonna forget it <laughs> that that was not my intention i kind of mess up there okay i did so so you know follow this um figure to understand that you know this is uh, the deductive method, right? This is the inductive method, right? So, um, here, you know, you start with observation, find a pattern, and, you know, the conclusion, right? Here, you start from a hypothesis, you know, um, as hours of studying goes up, right more you the grades are better right which makes sense now but you see it's a linear you know the hypothesis is that it's sort of linear in this case in the inductive you sort of started from the observation first see this is kind of the theory right and then this then you go to the the hypothesis here you or the fact well, maybe fact is not the right word, but here you go from the observation that yes, the book qualify to you know, then you know, let's just call it the theory. If you if you notice here, it is this is not straight, but it sort of follows you know that uh, it goes up, it's plateaus. I don't know if you can call this going down, but then after thirty hours, boom, you know, it goes like. You know, so less than 30 hours studying, you know, seems to be not as effective as once you hit that 35, 36, then boom, boom, it just goes up, which, you know, makes some sense. You know, so I don't know, maybe in this case, you know, it 
you know, inductive may work better. But the, the thing is that since we don't know, we we have to start from the uh, from the uh, theories, right? That it's you know this is what you expect that as that the relation between hours of studying have a uh, you know this linear relation that is always goes up. Then in a way this one also goes up, but not as not as straight. Anyway, I spent too much time on that. Um, yeah, you know, theories, hypotheses, observation. I guess we start here. Well, actually, you know that we don't. That's depending. What happened if we start here? Which one is this one, right? This one, right? And if we start with here, what is it? This one, right? So, you learn that so quickly. So, probabilistic knowledge... Um, you know, basically, you know, there are the probabilities of, um, um, you know, things, you know, happening, right? So, A binding B is supported to a degree of 0.7, you know. Um, so, I know, I'm talking, this is, sometimes you don't find figures that are, you know, social work, so I try to use the best that I can. So, you know, the probabilistic of, um, you know, something happening. And, you know, you need that to, you know, create theories, you know, and, and to detect, I'm um, sorry, I didn't mean to do that, to see if, you know, what do we want to do? Well, we want to be successful treating our our, 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 our clients, right? So, do 0.7, which is 70% good? I would say, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I'm going to stop here. You won't notice because I'm just pausing to do something else that I need to do, but... Okay, so, here is, you know, terms that you just have to read I don't know that I can explain it, you know, much more than, you know, what you can see in the, in the power, in the slide, you know, ideographic, you know, uses variables. Um, and then, mo no more theoretic, theoretic model, you know, uh, try to understand a, a general phenomenon uses relatively few variables. But this is more on the qualitative side because, you know, if you're trying to explain a phenomenon, um, that's more on the qualitative, but, you know, it's not always. And this one, obviously, is more quali sorry, quantitative with data because it has variables. Uh, maybe this, is, this will make it clearer. Um, yeah, idio, from the Greek meaning own, personal, private, and no more from the Greek meaning law or custom. Now, you're probably asking, does the word idiot come from the Greek? I don't know, because it means own, personal, private. Um, anyway, that was my very, very lame attempt at a joke that went sideways. Okay. And also to give you time to read what's on in the um the slide. Okay. Uh, let's just go here. Now uh, um you see this is the ideographic, right? So it more dependent on um you know variable. Right, just have the old level of PTSD symptoms, high, obviously this is sort of like a graph, which means that it's pretty up here, right, so it's high. And then during the exposure to therapy, we somehow, you know, notice that, you know, this gets lower and lower and lower and lower until after the the um therapy she's on here low so 
Therapy is effective with Jill, but not with Jack. Um, Jack always stays, you know, so you're comparing, you know, uh, the data, right? Now this is therapy is effective on probabilistic grounds based on the results with 200 uh, participants. So, you know, this is sort of, um, um, remember when I said EDO means, you know, private, so it's sort of, this is one person, this is another, and no more, uh, you know, mean like group, right? So, there you go. Here is, by, you know, seven, he has a hundred participants, and you can see that those uh, exposed to therapy, you know, um, are, do better, right? Meaning, the PTSD, right? And the ones with not treatment, only 30. So, which one do you would choose? Well, you know, I would choose, the, it seems like the therapy had a, you know, better result. result. Okay. Um, so, ideologies and paradigms, you know, we hear this terms all the time. You know, it's a, you know, ideology, you can think about political ideology and so on, but we're not talking about research. So, um, you know, a system of beliefs and value that shape the understanding or behavior of those who believe in an ideology, right? So, um, excuse me, so, you know, maybe people are, are sort of, you know, they're, 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 they're a therapist, you hear all the time, they are more, um, psychoanalytic than, uh, you know, CBT, for instance, right? Cognitive behavioral theory. So, you know, that might be their, their way of, of doing things, even though they all, uh, uh, strive for, for the same outcome, right? But, you know, in different ways. Um, this may help. Um, this is, oops, this is what is called a word, um, map, I believe. You know, so the bigger the, um, the, the word, the more common. So obviously ideology is the main and you know, of course, ideas are, you see how big they are, expectations, goals. So you can see that, um, like here's a, let me look, you know, the term like role, you know, has lesser of, of a weight than, you know, ideas or actions. So you can see the bigger the word, the more impact it has on the definition of ideology. And, um, you know, you can you know, Google it and see. Um, paradigm, you know, I don't know if you ever heard of the, you know, the six wise blind men who, you know, were, you know, when they encounter a, an, an, an elephant, you know, they were blind. So, okay. And um, this one said, oh, I think it's a fan. Actually, I've seen all the variations that this is a, like one of those big leaves from, um, I don't know, some tree or plant, right? Um, this one saw it, oh, it's like a weapon, right? Like a spear. This one, you know, I don't know what he thought. If he thinks that's a snake, why the heck is grabbing it? You know, this one, okay, so that's a wall. That's a tree, and that's the rope. I wouldn't pull on that one, buddy. You're gonna get kicked by an elephant. So, you know, so uh, the blind man and the elephant, you know, a paradigm is a new way of looking or thinking about something, you know, and and really, you know, sometimes the, the, the uh, uh, punchline or the, the message here is that you know, a lot of times, um, we don't see the whole picture. You know, we may be just seeing or observing this part and not, you know, not the whole. So, um, I'm not going to go for that. Um, you know, 
this is more uh oh god i already um spent a lot of more time than i um plan it to plan to um i may have to create another video for the next chapter um but you know maybe by not you know me creating a, a, a video lecture of three hours you know you're not gonna watch me talk three hours i bet that you know at some point you may not like to hear me for you know 10 minutes so anyway um i hope that that makes you read which is what what i would prefer you do but um you know i'll get better as um this some um, just a new time for all of us so i better stop here